everybody's got mags, right? You know, some of you diver guys might look at this and go, ho, oh, 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 oh. but you folks from Maryland and Virginia, you know what's up when you look at it. <laughs> you know, this doesn't come easy around here. Does not come easy around here. We got some buttes in here. Try and stay out of the. That's a beautiful Lee Creeker. Look at the straces on that. I hope that's focusing. This is in Virginia. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Look at that color. Look at those serrations. Oh, yeah. Look at that gloss. You know why it's glossy? Because it came right out of the clay. Yeah, but you notice how the root's not glossy or buffed looking. That's because the tooth is not oiled and it hasn't been polished. This is what a natural tooth that's in pristine condition looks like. That, oh, that tooth is so awesome. I love it. This is a honker, too. Look how wide this is. I mean, that's a, that's a honker. That's the first tooth I found over five inches. Was that a... Uh, a place after a storm and uh, a guy ran past me on the beach ran right past me I was like ah you know this is rude I just if you don't collect uh, uh, on the beaches in case you don't know it's uh, exceptionally rude to pass somebody on the beach who got there before you unless they are going god awfully slow it's just it's just uh, uh, I don't know kind of a code of ethics type deal between people who know the deal. If you want to be the first down the beach, you get there before everybody else. You don't get there late and then run down the beach past everybody. If you do, you're a douche and you know it. All right. Anyways, um, but so I catch up to the guy. He's coming back <coughs> and he says to me, did you find anything? And I'm like, yeah. And I showed him a, a, a Mako that I have that's just under three inches in one of the drawers in a, a busted mag. And he's like, oh, well, this beach sucks. I'm going somewhere that's better. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I literally took two steps past that, and that big tooth was just laying there. Like, like the guy walked right over it, and I know why he walked over it. Karma's a you-know-what. And that's what he gets for saying that beach sucks. That beach is the bomb. That area is the bomb. Trust me when I say that. Trust this drawer when I say that. Check out this beautiful lower. I mean, that's a dagger. That is an absolute dagger. Some more mags. Just, just going to pick out, you know, some of my more faves. Look at the color. What? Are you kidding me? Look at the serrations. Here's another one. Look at the color. I mean, phenomenal. Just, uh, I'm so blessed. So blessed. I've been so blessed. This was another karma tooth. Many, many, many moons ago. I mean, holy crap, many moons ago. I think this is my first four inch tooth. I found this after this, a couple days after that. Um, but I was going to a beach that is, shame it's got that little whack right there, that's, um, it's a long walk. <laughs> it's like a two and a half mile walk or, or something crazy and it's, it's a long way, the sand is soft, you sink, everybody hates the walk. And uh, on the way down there, it was just, it must have been horseshoe crab season or something, I don't know, but there were hundreds of horseshoe crabs all flipped over upside down on the beach. I stopped, flipped every single one of them over on uh, the way down the beach while person after person after person walked past me and then get on the beach, not even in the collecting area for five minutes. 
And to die. Oh, I find this beaut. Karma, man. Karma is a good thing. Some of these other buttes back here. That oh, oh gosh. It's a beautiful Lee Creeker. Whites. I don't know how well you can see through this glass, but it's hard for me to get these drawers out. Whole another drawer of mags, just mags. Like I said, everybody's got mags, man. Oh, can't believe I didn't show you guys something. I must be uh, losing it to, to not show you guys this one tooth. Hold on, let me cycle through these real quick and get up there. Oh man, that's like one of my best teeth. Like I said, you divers are probably going ha 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 lol and rolling on the floor, but around here, man, this is uh, not tooting my horn, but this isn't bad. Alright, and so what was I just talking about? Alright, outside of this crack on this root, this five inch tooth from the bay is phenomenal. You're looking at that going, no it's not, that's got a busted tip, buddy. That's the same thing I thought when I first found it, until I picked it up and I looked at it. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that pathology. I mean, that is awesome. Look down in that. Hopefully this will focus. Yeah, look at the serrations on this dude. Flawless. 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 This was another ha ha interesting great story. Hurricane Irene, I think it was. We had to go get the boat out of the marina before the hurricane came through. So my brother was supposed to work that day. We kind of skied it out of work, or he did, so did I. We went to the beach, got in the boat. His work calls him. They're like, you have to be here. He's like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. So he gets somebody from his work that's like, yeah, I'll fill in for you. So we run down to the beach. We're not even there for, uh, I don't know, 40 minutes. Uh, and he gets called and uh, we have to leave again. But in that 40 minutes, I found that phenomenal tooth. Uh, and the, the, the crazy part is we then get in the boat, go all the way back to the marina, and they call him. They're like, hey, we took care of it. We don't need you here anymore. So what do we do? We go right back to the beach. And we run into this guy down there that, uh, once again, karma. This is a guy I had ran into when I was a young kid <clears throat> on a beach. And I had a beautiful two-inch mako and a beautiful two-inch chub. And I said to the, he's asked me, did you find anything? And I'm like, yeah, this chub and this mako. And he looks at me and goes, I wouldn't have even bothered to wrap those teeth because I had them wrapped in napkins, you know. And I'm like, okay, whatever, buddy. Good luck to you. Have a nice day. He goes, luck? It's got nothing to do with luck, and if it did, I'm the luckiest guy alive because I find all of the teeth. And I'm like, oh my God, whatever, dude. And I just laughed and went on my way. But once again, karma, because he would have found that tooth otherwise. And it's so funny because I had left it in the car when we had dropped, gone back to the marina to the boat and then found out we could come back out, so I was telling him about it. And of course, he didn't believe me. Well, joke's on you, J.E. Ha <laughs> ha, joke's on you. more mags. This drawer, I've got some space in it, so as I'm finding them, I can uh, fill it up, you know. Not going to spend a super lot of time. Look at these. Look at that pathology. Look at that. That's so cool. There's another one here. Check this one out. This was smushed. Something was smushed in there. Oh, I'll sit the den in like that. That's a beaut, wouldn't you say? <laughs> There's a lot of them in here. Like I said, I've been very blessed. Some more mags. I don't think we're going to go through all of those. 
and more mags. We'll actually look at some of these. Like these posteriors are really cool. This was from a decent sized shark. These rear, rear posteriors. Check out this one. This was from a big shark. This is an uber, uber rear posterior from a big, big shark. And you know, there's a lot of these small posteriors that float around that people have, and they'll be like, oh yeah, check out this baby Meg. Well, this isn't a baby Meg. This is a small posterior, but this definitely was not a baby Megalodon. The, the teeth, that anterior teeth that had posteriors like this were, a rough guessment, at least this size. At least, if not even bigger. You know, probably bigger. When you're talking baby Megs, you're talking stuff like this. Get this up here. That's a baby Meg. That's a baby Meg. That's a baby Meg. These are anterior teeth. And look at how small they are. There's a, a site that I go to that these come out of. And that makes you wonder if they weren't birthing them there. You never know. This one's controversial to some, but this is a Megalodon symphysial tooth. Not every Meg had symphysial teeth, that is a fact. Actually, most did not, but they most certainly in that lineage, the Atotus lineage, had symphysial teeth. Uh, I've seen them with the Atotus all the way through up to the Meg, so the Ricks, the Angostidans, uh, like this Meg. This was found in uh, Peace River, Florida, actually. And then here's some uh, stuff that people would typically call Hubbles. After Gordon Hubble. Probably Shark Tooth King.